Wow. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What would it be, Mr. Demet, sir? <laughs> I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yes! Yes! Oh, of course it wants exact change. Damn it! Next round's on me. Promise. Yes! Come to Daddy. Oi! Oi! Oh, no, 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 please, come on, no! Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ha! What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. <clears throat> Antique rubbish. Give them to me. Give me my cigarettes. Right, you. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What?
Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Before we, look, can I say something? We agree that we're sticking to just the job. Right, which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I, okay, you're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No, you're right. I, um, uh, you're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Where to? Uh, the balcony would make for a cool angle. Let's find a way up there. How's the new place? It'll do for now. Do you like it? It's just a place to keep my shit in crash. Short term lease, so I can take my time to find something I really like. That's mm, smart plan. You said I needed to be out, so I got out. I was complimenting you. Yeah, just saying. I was worried you'd be sleeping on the couch in the studio while you obsessed over finding the perfect place with the right wall color near the proper train station or bus stop or... Maybe we should just add this topic to our discussion no fly zone list. Yeah, you're probably right. So, since we can't do it tomorrow, is next weekend okay to come and get my stuff? Am I crazy, or did we not come from this direction? Whoa, there, bucko. I was just checking for a light. Remember our talk about boundaries? I need my room to be my private, safe place. Sometimes I'm glad we went to therapy. Other times, it makes for some weird-ass rules.
There's something back here. So if Dumet catches us in here, are we breaking one of his rules? He did say not to go wandering. And we did practically bust the door down and get in here. We? So maybe we should take care. Probably. Yeah, I feel like Dumet is the kind of dude who loses his shit if you break his rules. Shit. <laughs> Let's get the fuck out of me. This takes me back. I used to carve the hell out of my desk in middle school. Rebel. Look at this wallpaper. Manny Sherman, born January 1, 1956. Come on. You know all this. What do you want? What's this? Huh. You've been doing your research, haven't you, Special Agent Monday? What are my favorite television programs? Describe my first pet? What were your friends like as a child? What is this? You taking a survey, you're trying to learn something. Would it kill you to be direct? You wanted to know what inspired me? As if I wasn't an original? Well, maybe there was one man I found myself a little fascinated by. Henry Howard Holmes. Why? Because he was numero uno. America's first. The guy invented the trade. He set the benchmark, you know? Learn your history, Monday. Read a book. You think because I stuck a blade in some people and get off on it, I'm not smart? I, uh... <laughs> Allegedly, killed 13 people before you got smart enough to find me.
This is old as hell. Everything here is old as hell. I was expecting an old exterior, but remodeled inside. Looks like Dumet is trying to preserve things. Can't be easy all the way out here. I like antiques as much as the next person, but at some point you have to give up the ghost. There. See that key? Just need to find a way through. Rod is going to set in. Right. That's it. What? But since we got here, I've been smelling something faint, distant. Can't place it. It's decay. Old house. Island beaches with dead fish, animals in the wood. Could be anything. Whatever it is, it's dead as hell. your head down. This should work. Mark, you okay in there? I'll be right back. You can do this.
Got it. Hi. My vertigo is saying otherwise. What are you worried about, Miss? Always be camera ready. You look amazing as usual. Hey, check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but... Imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level.
Hey guys. Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait. What? Why? He saw all the snipe things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. You must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. They're in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Oh, oh God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? I'm just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. Incorrect. I found an extra special pack of invisible cigarettes. In fact, I'm smoking one right now. See? <laughs> that explains why you're in such a great mood. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> Now, I would like to toast all of you, really. I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of 10. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. You keep people interested. And finally, to our newest recruit, Erin, we would be lost without you. Who else could we trust to remember every little detail? Thank you all for your hard work. Cheers. Cheers. To us. Mazel tov. What we can get here can take the show to the next level. Sure, if we have time to get it all. Yeah, he totally heard us. Nah, there's no way he'd say all that nice shit if he heard us. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it right this second. You brought it up. <sighs> what was that, Kate? Nothing important, just spitballing some ideas. 
I think she'll look best if we can really make the backgrounds look as creepy as possible. Shouldn't be hard. Um, does anyone else think it's weird? Dumet hasn't showed up yet. Yeah, I don't think he's coming. What do we want to do first, Charles? You're the boss. Thank you. I think it makes sense for us to start in the lobby. There's still decent light to work with, and it's symbolically where things would begin in the murder castle. With what light's already in there, we just need to set up a couple of our own. We can make it look as if it were lit by gaslight. Perfect. What if Dumet shows up? If he tells us to stop, I'm gonna be having a strong word with him. He's put us in this position. All right, everyone grab what they need and we'll meet in the lobby. Let's be as professional as possible from here on in, please. No mistakes. Perfection. If he comes back, I don't want him to see us fucking about or arguing. Good call. We're on it. Right, guys? Fantastic. I love to hear that. Shouldn't take me long at all. Great. Great. Great.
sing it, and I won't be scared long. Breakers. Shit. Hello? Mr. Demet? Might be time to join the 21st century, guys. Great. Enter the creepy maintenance room in the creepy hotel on the creepy island to shoot a doc about serial killers all alone and without my stun gun. <sighs> choices, Jamie. Make better choices. This is your own damn fault.
Thank God. Something from this century. severe weather storm warning for the Greater Lakes area. High winds and heavy rainfall are expected by 10 p.m. Central Time. Repeat, this is a severe... How are we looking, Jamie? Little electrical drama, but we're about good to go. This looks great. Very gaslight. Mm, if we had a grip with some foil, I could get a good flicker effect going. This would be fine. I just got a bit more to do once Kate's standing there. Shouldn't be more than a few minutes. Hey, thanks for that stuff you said at dinner. It was nice to hear. We're all on the same side. Sometimes we forget. What the hell? Down the long hallway to you. Aaron, I'm going. Try to breathe slow and easy. We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys, I, I, I can't. Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. I... 
Guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh, God. You're okay now. You're safe. What? Did you see him? Come on. <laughs> he... he was... somebody was right there. In there with me. Eric, it's just a dummy. No, it was not a dummy. He... he had a hat on, like H.H. H. Holmes. Charles, you're working her to death. Now she's hallucinating shit from the show? I did not... Nothing bad happened, Erin. You're okay. No one is in there. Let's all just calm down, get Erin back to her room for a rest. I'm not fucking tired. Let's go. Come on, Erin. Ah. There you are. I think Erin's shown signs of serious pluck, wouldn't you say? Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Charlie managed to rally the troops, though, and a good thing. The road ahead is full of challenges. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Let's just all take a deep breath and not lose our minds. No, Charles. We're done. This has been weird every step of the way, and now it's getting scary. Oh, relax. I'm serious. Everything about this is off. Kills me to admit it, but Kate is right. Somebody tried to attack Aaron. We don't know that's what actually happened. I know what I saw. In the dark. You think I'm making this up? Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> And exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? <sighs> Charlie is thinking. This looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying... I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now, this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? Sorry, maybe I'm crazy, but if Aaron says somebody came for her, I believe her. We're not safe here. It was just a dummy. You think I'm lying? Really? I think maybe you're just confused about what you saw in the dark. I know what I saw. Right, <sighs> here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> We cannot jump to conclusions. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and get clear on everything. Everything is gonna be fine, okay? And we're gonna get the footage we need. He didn't show for dinner. What makes you think you can find him now? A positive attitude. 
You should try it sometime. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. Wait. Do you have to go? I'll be right back. Promise. Just stay put so I know where to find you, okay? I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Aaron saw someone. Okay, you're right. Sorry. It's just Charlie said... We're not safe here. That outweighs having a damn job. You're right. Let's go, Aaron. Everything's gonna be okay. Wait here. Can't you just stay here while I pack up my stuff? I don't want to waste any time. I'm right around the corner. Let's all be quick. We'll be right back. I promise. No, don't... Sorry, just... Still freaked out. Can you leave it open so you guys can hear me? Of course. Okay, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jesus. You really don't care about anything else, do you? Of course I care. Tell that to Kate. You know as well as I do, if we're set up and a camera is rolling, she'll want to be in front of it. <sighs> Asshole. 